Ibn al Haysan, maybe you know him like Al Hasan. He lived between 965 to 1040 AD. He was born in Basra, as modern in Iraq. Ibn al Haysan is father of modern optics. Is it little bit assertive? Oh no, even it is not enough to describe Ibn al Haysan. Hi friends, let's think how do we see something? Oh, we know the answer, right? Photons come from the sun on straight rays and reflect of e object into our eyes on straight rays. Then we can see. It is basic information for us. However, before Ibn Haysam, it was not that much easy. So people didn't understand this event like this. Already the light gets in trouble every time. For example, whether it is a particle or wave is still debated. Anyway, there were two prevailing views about vision between mathematicians and physicists. They were big authorities in his areas. Mathematicians such as Plato and Ptolemy argued that our eyes have own light and that seeing was made possible by the rays that came out of sight and reached the object. On the other hand, Aristotle said that, hey dude, you are wrong. If it really were, we could be able to see in the dark, right? He probably didn't say like that. Anyway, Aristotle and some other physicists claim that vision events exist with a representative form which comes from the object. Nevertheless, with Ibn al Haysam, we understand that also their theory is not suitable to catch the truth. Ibn al Haysam hadn't accepted these theories directly, and he didn't afraid reading them. So he could look the, out of the paradigm, out of the box. Because when he was seeking the truth, he didn't easily trust even himself. Then he mathematized this physical problem like Archimedes did in the past. But this was not too usual in medieval age. Even some mathematicians such as Omar Hayyam criticized his method. After that, to solve the problem, he used dark room experiments and he proved light travels through straight lines and he concludes that light and color forms from the object being seen reach the eye on these straight rays. Apart from optics, what makes Ibn Hisham a great scientist? Firstly, he always kept his sceptical attitude to obtain rigorous body of knowledge. If learning the truth is the scientist's goal, then he must make himself the enemy of all that he read. He said and he made like this. Secondly, instead of deduction, he used induction to reach the truth contrary to the dominant paradigm. And he applied mathematics on the ideas of natural phenomena. Our subject is obscure and the way leading to knowledge of its nature difficult. Moreover, our injury requires a combination of the natural and mathematical sciences. Last but not least, he used experiments systematically to define his theories. Before Haysam, there were observation and basic experiments, but they are not used as a systematical method. Haysam combined these like Archimedes and followed this method faithfully. Moreover, he created tools for these experiments. Let's look some of these experiments tool and setup. First one is instrument of observing reflection of light. We know this instrument from great book Kitab al Manazir, Book of Optics. He defined details how can you create this instrument in the book. Second one is Moonlight Observation Instrument. We learn about this instrument from the book of Makale fi Dev Kamer, Treatise on Moonlight. Third one is Light Refraction Monitoring Instrument. The seventh chapter of Kitab al-Manazir is titled Refraction of Light. 
In this chapter, he tell about usage and creation of this instrument too. Ford is experimental setup to prove that downlight rays are linear. Haysam had thought the occurrence of downlight like accidental. Then he created this setup to prove this. Lastly, we come his famous experiment tool. It is camera obscura, or as Haysam said, it's a dark room. This is most significant experiment of Ibn al Haysam, because thanks to this experiment, rules of optics has changed, and this experiment leads technological items like camera. We can see this experiment in Kitab al Manazir book and his two writings. Makale fi Surat al Kusuf concerning the solar eclipse and Makale fi Dab al Qamar treatise on moonlight. In this photo, we can see an instru additional instrument. No, it is not created by Ibn al Haysam, but it is created by Leonardo da Vinci. What is the relation between Haysam and da Vinci? There was a famous optical mathematical problem which called as Problem al Hasani. And we know that Da Vinci created this instrument to solve this problem. According to Otto Werner, who is researcher of physics of Leonardo, Leonardo Da Vinci affected by Haysam in some aspects. Meanwhile, we can briefly talk about Haysam's influence. After translation of Kitab al Manazir, Book of Optic, into Latin, copies of the book traveled almost throughout to Europe and influenced many Western intellectuals such as Roger Bacon, John Kepler, Galileo and Newton. Actually, we can easily say that Haysam's scientific method was leading the modern science. Would you like to learn more information about Ibn al Haysam? Then you can check the comment side of the video. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video.